I, I always wanted to be the president of the Middlesex County Bar Association, and I achieved that about 10 years ago. I always wanted to coach my kids, and I had, I had an opportunity to do that. I had the time to do it. My wife helped me to do that. Uh, if you told me, if I said that being elected to the state senate was on my bucket list, I have to honestly say no, because that was so, that was, that would be, I would have considered that such a high achievement that I, that I, I probably wouldn't have put that on because it would be something that I would think maybe might not be in the cards. But uh, it certainly has been a tremendous achievement being elected to the, not only, not only the, the, the state senate last month, but being elected to the assembly, I really took a great deal of pride in that. I come from a family of uh, six. I have, I have a brother and two sisters. My parents grew up in Providence, Rhode Island. My dad was in the FBI for many years, about 28, 30 years, and my mom was a a public school teacher who taught English and reading, remedial reading. My mom uh, is first generation Irish, and my dad's relatives have been around uh, since before the Civil War. We, I have a lot of great stories like a lot of people do growing up in the Barnes household. We, my dad was a kind of a lay the law down kind of guy, uh, but my, my folks were, were strict. Uh, we were not allowed to have a car, even though we say we worked and had a lot of money. We could have bought a car. My dad felt that cars were were, were trouble for boys. Uh, I say this a lot, and, and people shake their heads sometimes. But we were not allowed to go to a lot of rock concerts because my dad was afraid that bad things could happen. Growing up, in, growing up around here, there were a lot of great bands that came in. Pink Floyd came in a lot. Uh, I'm, I know I'm dating myself, but Yes was in a lot. They played the Garden. Uh, my my brother and I were big Chicago fans. Actually, he that he he felt that was okay. Chicago was acceptable. Fans. At one time, I wanted to go see David Bowie, in the in the in the you know the the Ziggy days, and and no, that was a no. Growing up in Edison, in Central New Jersey, we we had a lot of things that we did. Uh, First of all, we were very much involved in the North Edison Little League and also involved in the St. Francis CYO basketball program. Those were big and it was an idyllic childhood. We, we had a lot of fun growing up, we worked hard, uh, we always had jobs. I was a, I was a caddy at the Metuchen Country Club, I worked at McDonald's for a period of time on Route 27, uh, I worked at, at the United Parcel Service in Raritan Center loading and unloading trucks. I also worked for the Edison uh, Sanitation Department where I was a, uh, a sanitation worker for three summers. We were at John P. Stevens High School in Edison and this is uh, one of two public high schools in Edison. I graduated here in 1974. While I was here I was on the track team. I played uh, freshman football, basketball, and track, and as I came into the high school, uh, track became my main sport, the sport that I thought I was the best at. School Gettysburg at the time had a very, uh, very good track team, and I wanted a small school, a school where I could be on the track team, and indeed my brother and I were members of the track team for four years. At Gettysburg we won uh, two Middle Atlantic, Atlantic Conference championships, not, not so much because of me, but because of the quality of, of Division Three runners that we had. I had just uh, broken up with a, a girl I was going out with who lived in Philadelphia, and my sisters had a party. My sisters were in a beach house, a summer, a summer uh, sharing arrangement, and Katie was among uh, the people who, who were in the house and uh, went to a party one, one Saturday in July and, that, and that's how we met. Our first date was, was uh, one that a lot of people from New Jersey probably would be familiar with. I took her to the Crab's Claw, which is in Lavalette, and uh, we, had a, we had a meal there. And then we went down to Seaside Heights and 
uh, went on some rides. We played some games. We, uh, we, I ate my annual uh, orange ice cream cone, Coors ice cream, custard, orange flavored. And then we had an after dinner, we, we had an uh, end of the dinner drink at a place called Edgar's. Being, being a parent for the first time is, uh, like for everybody, both very uh, joyous, but it's also very uh, nerve-wracking. You go from uh, two, you, you and your spouse, to overnight becoming a family of three. And that is always an adjustment. Uh, the first child is always an adjustment, I think, for most people. Certainly that was uh, among the most exciting uh, moments of my life. I, I was a coach in the North Edison Little League for about 15 years. I've coached each one of my three children, uh, Meg, Jack, and Kenny. My, my daughter only did it for a year or two, but my boys went through t-ball right through the very end, right through the senior league. And some of my most joyous uh, memories are from coaching and meeting a lot of the kids, many of whom have gone to uh, Edison High and, and, and J.P. Stevens, where we are today. I also coached at the St. Francis CYO, where I mentioned before, where I was a player myself. Coached there for many years. And really uh, derived a lot of pleasure and satisfaction out of doing that. And so the, what, what are the lessons learned? I would say do, doing your, the best job you can with the opportunity given. Being, being uh, honest with money, honest with your dealings with other people. Uh, and not just being honest, but having some integrity, which a lot of times, uh, one of the track coaches I mentioned before used to say that integrity is a higher standard. In integrity means doing the right thing when no one else is watching. Treating people uh, loyally and not forgetting uh, people who need help along the way.